Hey everybody, welcome to BP, welcome to the channel. I had some interesting news this weekend whilst I was doing a bit of research and our Indian friends are being blessed with the new Honda CB350 and the Honda CB350 RS. Let's dive in, let's have a look. Here comes the intro. Wow, what a bit of news. Two new Hondas, the CB350 and the CB350 RS. Let's have a quick look at some images of these two bikes. So I see these as direct competition to something like the Royal Enfield 350s, such as the Hunter and the Classic. So the, the 350 RS from Honda is much more like the Hunter and the CB350 uh, is more like the classic Royal Enfield. So let's have a look at the RS first, the CB350 RS. Now I've stolen some screenshots from Dino's vault. So I'm holding my hands up here, but I thought it was such a good bit of news that I wanted to share this out to you. And I thought I'll promote Dino's channel, which is absolutely great. Uh, so here we have the RS in blue, silver with a red stripe, a red flash. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. I would love to ride down the streets of the UK with those colours. It looks wonderful. So we're looking at 21 horsepower, 13, th sorry, 30 uh, Newton meters of torque. Uh, so it's, it's not, it's not too dissimilar to the, it's not too dissimilar to the uh, Hunter. Uh, it's an air cooled engine, uh, 19 inch on the front, 17 inch on the back, I understand. Uh, discs rear and front, twin shocks at the back, uh, the back end looks absolutely wonderful with the brake light underneath the seat, underneath the end of the seat and the indicators on the mount for the, uh, for the number plate. That back end looks absolutely gorgeous. The side panels with the embossed 350, CB350 RS looks absolutely superb and with a proper Honda badge rather than a sticker on the tank. It looks absolutely superb. It's just a throw bike to the 1970s. It looks superb, although I don't think they had those shiny colors in the 1970s, but I may be wrong. Blacked out engine, looks great. Looks absolutely wonderful. The dashboard on it, I believe uh, you can Bluetooth to the bike and it gives you navigation, not unlike the Royal Enfields. Uh, obviously there isn't another pot where it shows you the visual left or right, and I don't, know, I don't know how that's going to work on this particular screen, but apparently it does. You can Bluetooth to the bike, Bluetooth to the app, navigate, and it will show you on the screen somewhere or other uh, where, uh, which way to turn. So that's super cool. It's a five speed gearbox. Five speed, just like the Hunter. Five speeds, not six. Right, now let's go and have a look at the CB350. Wow. Does that look like the classic? Yeah, it almost looks, in fact, it looks like the bullet. That's what it does do. I had a bullet in Qatar the Bullet 500, and uh, wow, that was a, a great bike. It got so many, so many good looks. Everybody was interested in it, and it wasn't a powerful bike, but everybody was interested in it. But look at this Honda. Two seats, the grab rail at the back. Look at that exhaust. Doesn't she look wonderful? Again, the proper Honda badges on the side panels and the tank. Absolutely beautiful, 19 on the front, 17 on the rear. Discs front and rear. Look at that, look at the rear suspension on that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, there's an understanding that this is coming to Europe. 
And if it's coming to Europe, I'm sure it'll come to the UK. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, we might just be able to get uh, these over in the UK. And if that's the case, would you be thinking about buying one? Would you think about buying one of these? Would you go and get one instead of the Royal Enfield equivalent? I don't know. The beauty about Honda is, you know, they tend to be very bomb-proof. So, you know, it's, it's a case where, it's a case where, mmm, you know, and how much is it going to cost? Well, it's, uh, I believe it's 2.1 likes over in India, so that's about £2,300. I suspect it's going to be double that minus a little, so it's somewhere around the £4,500. Uh, and give it a bit of discount to make it competitive against the Royal Enfield 350 range. So I suspect it's going to be somewhere between four and four and a half thousand pound. Honda may even do a deal where it's 2.9% and stuff like that. It may be four thousand, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. What do you think to this news? Isn't it interesting? Uh, I wanted to share it with you. The links are in the description for Dino's Vault. Please do go and have a look at these two videos on these two bikes. It really is worth looking at. Uh, and I think it's exciting that Honda are going retro uh, in the 350 category. I think it's uh, an exciting thing. And notice uh, this one, the I can see the CB350 has a centre stand. That's great. That's what they should have. Centre stand and side stand. Absolutely wonderful. I hope you found this useful. Ride safely. Be kind to everyone. It's very cold out there. I got out this morning. I got up this morning and there was a spattering of snow on the ground. So it's very, very cold. Be kind to everyone and ride safely. I know it's the midst of winter and it may well get a bit worse. But if you are riding, please ride safely. And uh, I'll be riding very soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Thank you. And bye bye.